Hi guys, welcome back to Lux Life TV. And if you guys are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Um, it would really help me if you guys were to thumbs up this video and subscribe. Make sure you guys hit the bell icon so you guys are notified every time I make a video. And I usually make one every week. Uh, today's setup is back to being outside. It's a beautiful day today. And we have our flowers. I, actually, the thing is, um, once the temperature starts to drop, um, we bring all our flower pots inside. So my space out here is a bit cramped now because we have all of the flower pots in this little like shed, so to speak. But uh, anyway, let's just get on with the video. So I have another it's an airplane. Airplanes, airplanes, airplanes. Don't mind that. Let's just wait for it to go. Any day now. Got a lot of airplanes on this side. I was like filming another video and I must have been interrupted like three or four times. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the Louis Vuitton totally bag in the MM size um, in the modern monogram can monogram canvas. Wow, that was a mouthful. So the Louis Vuitton uh, totally in the MM size, which is the medium in the monogram monogram canvas. I can't say that. It's so weird. Um, and this is uh, another bag from uh, Lux DFO, if you guys were to Google it. Uh, first off, though, I'll tell you point blank, this uh, bag is not actually on the website. I had um, emailed Ray, and if you want, I will put their info down below, and asked him if they had this bag available, and he did. Uh, but it was just not on the site. So from what he said, he has this bag only in the MM size, and you can get it in the monogram canvas, or you can get it in the Damier, I think, uh, the Azure. So it's the gray... Um, or the white and blue checker print. Uh, those are the only two styles that he has. I'm sorry if I like keep shaking the tripod. I have it at a weird angle because you see the grill and then you see like this crap on one side, but I thought this side looked prettier, so just bear with me. Anyway, uh, without rambling on too much, this is the bag we're gonna talk about today. And I'm sorry if I keep checking inside because we have people over and I don't want to be rude and ignore everybody. But that this is the bag. And um, it has two pockets on the outside right here. And it's got a zipper at the top, which is perfect. And it's, it's so smooth. And I have my stuff inside, but this is what it looks like on the inside. So there are the two standard slip pockets. And then you have a big slip pocket in the back instead of like, you know, the standard zipper pocket. Um, the handles are the untreated leather and the lining is, I think it's too dark for you to see, but it's brown and there is a D-ring inside. So in terms of uh, this style, I, it came out years ago and then it disappeared. Like, I don't think this bag is made anymore. Um, you can get it on the pre loved market only um, or if you want to check Lux DFO. Um, the second thing is, is that I don't know enough about the bag to see if this is like, you know, like legit, but for the quality of it, the way the stitching is, the way it's been made, it looks great. I think it was also meant to be a diaper bag. If you guys were to watch Jerusha's um, video, I'll, I'll link it down below, she's really cool. And I love her videos because I'm obsessed with her accent. I know it so, sounds so stupid, um, but she's from Australia. She's um, She reviews a lot of like Lux brands and she had this bag. And um, I forgot about it for a while. I saw the bag as she reviewed it as a diaper bag and I fell in love with it. Mind you, I don't have kids. I don't use it as a diaper bag, but it's a really great like work tote. It's not too big. It's not too small and it fits everything I need, but I usually don't zipper it because I tend to stuff it. Um, but yeah, like right now I'll do a really quick what's in my bag. I'm not going to take everything out just to give you a quick general overview. I had gloves because it was really freezing um, a few days ago. Uh, I have my glasses case, I have my Kindle, I have my, um, this is the PM, no, this is the MM Agenda by Louis Vuitton. Uh, it's a medium size. And I think I got this from Tradesy, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's from Tradesy. Um, you can find these on the pre-love market. I mean, this was basically in like impeccable condition when I got it. So that's that. And then I have my keys. This is the six key ring, um, the key holder. And it's like really beat up. I've had this for like a while now and I have it in the, 
I think it's just the maroon um, lining. And I have like it hot stamped. I've had this for a long time. It's a great starter piece though. If you guys are ever like thinking of starting a collection. So I just have my car keys on here. And I have, if you guys watch Supernatural and if you guys follow my blog, I have Cass. Like he's really beat up though, so. And then I have the PM um, Agenda by Louis Vuitton. This is in their multicolor print. Uh, this print has been long discontinued, but I really wanted a piece. And this is again in great condition. Like it, they said it was like used and you see like uh, it looks worn, but honestly, like it's just, I don't even know if you can tell. There's like a little bit of, <coughs> there are a few marks here, but that's it. I use this as a quick memo pad to jot things down because I never have paper on me. So yeah, that's that. This is beautiful. Like, I love this. And like this, the, this part of the leather has patina so well. Like the inside's nice and bright. And then, I mean, just look at this. It's aged so well, so I love this. Um, I have, uh, this is an Alexander Wang wallet. Um, this is just, it's got my license and a little bit of cash and maybe a card in here. But I like something nice and slender because I carry a lot of stuff. And this bag gets heavy, so yeah. Um, I'm not feeling well, so I have some medications. This is a pouch. I'm not gonna take it out of the bag because it's connected to the D-ring, but this is the pouch that came with my Neverfall. Um, I have it with that pink. I forgot the name of the color, so I just put the P. Um, that was the color lining, and I just put like, you know, feminine products in here. And then I have another pouch. If you guys like uh, have caught on, I'm pretty, like I love pouches and I love being organized. This has all of my tech stuff in it. This is basically a coach like pouch that came with a wristlet, but it has um, charging cables for my phone and um, for my Kindle. But if you guys are OnePlus users, you barely need to charge your phone during the day. It's amazing. And then I have this catch all. It's the Louis Vuitton, I wish. No, this is a Dooney and Burke. Um, I think it's called a Go case, like the Go cosmetic case. And I have like all sorts of crap in here. I'm not really gonna go through it. I got like lippies. I have the tie to go pen. I've got, I think a nail cutter. I have a screwdriver for my glasses, bobby pins. Like it's just a little bit of everything. Um, so yeah. And then I have, wow, I think I have, whoop. I have two headphones. So this is the coin purse by Louis Vuitton, which I've had for a long time now. Um, it houses my regular headphones. And this is a coin pouch I got from Leatherology and it houses my Bang & Olufsen wireless headphones. Um, I like options. The thing is um, the OnePlus 7 doesn't have a headphone jack. I'm talking louder because of the airplane. Oh, <clears throat> So yeah, it doesn't have a headphone jack and if the batteries on this die out, I have my regular headphones and here's the thing. I bought a headphone jack, like a headphone, I don't buy a headphone jack, like a converter. So my phone has a USB-C charging port. So I'll plug it in and I can just put in the headphones here. And yeah, it makes life so much easier. So that's that. And then in the pockets on top, this is really cute. It's actually a compact mirror that looks like a MacBook. Um, I got it on Amazon. I'm not gonna flash you guys, but it's okay. I mean, it's kind of cheap because the top is like shaking. And then uh, this is my card holder. I put card cards that I don't normally use. Like I have a BJ's card. Um, yeah, just this was by Coach. Uh, I remember getting it at the outlet. I love this. I don't even know if they make these anymore. And I have some pens. Nothing interesting. Hand lotion. And I have a rollerball by Fresh. It's the Sugar Lychee. And I have oil blotting sheets. These are really awesome. These are also from Amazon. Way cheaper than the ones at Target. And that's basically it. So these are the two slip pockets, which I doubt you're gonna see. Oh, you can see them now, I think, right here. And then on the other side, um, you have this slip pocket, which just, uh, it has receipts in it, which I, I can't take out right now. Um, so yeah, and it holds my phone. Like it'll hold your phone. And you have these two pockets that run like the whole length of the bag. I think I have 
more receipts on one side and I have medication on the other. So yeah, and it's got piping straight down. I mean, look at this. There isn't a single stitch that's loose. Like this bag is beautiful. I am really tempted to get one more because um, I love this so much. It would make a great travel bag and this fits like on my shoulders without a problem. And I'm not a skinny girl, like let's be real, I'm not. Um, so yeah, like if I just get up, see, it fits comfortably. If you're wearing a five jacket, then it might be a problem. Um, but otherwise, like I haven't had an issue with it. And yeah, it's like really, really well made. Like it, the canvas is soft, the piping is beautiful. Uh, I have noticed that my handles are already getting darker. Um, I've been using it from the time I got it. I really wanted the GM size, but they don't do the GM, which is fine. Um, I just really like the style of bag. It's great, I think, for everyday use. It doesn't get too heavy. So yeah, like if you guys want to check, um, it's Lux DFO. And if you guys want to check out the other products they have on there, trust me, it's great quality. Otherwise, I like sent an inquiry about this specific item because it's not on the site. And um, he sent me pictures of what it looks like and I ordered it that way. Um, I think this came to, I think it was 270. And like, this is all leather. It's just, you know, just like the regular bag. Like this is leather and the rest is canvas. And it is beautiful. Um, it came by DHL, I think within a week. Didn't even have to wait for it. It was beautifully packed. So yeah, like it's a great size bag. Oh, and I have another charger cable. So yeah, that's that's basically it. So you guys got a quick what's in my bag and you got a review on the Louis Vuitton Totally in the MM size in the monogram canvas. Finally said that right. And like I said, he has it in the Dami Azure print also, which is a checkerboard, which is white and gray or white and blue, I guess, depending on how you look at it. And uh, those are the only two that he has available. So you guys can send him an email. I will leave his uh, info down below. And if you guys like these sort of uh, videos and do check out my video on the Speedy Bandolier 35 in the Damier event print and the review on the Speedy 30 uh, Bandolier in the same exact print, these are both bags from the same exact site. Um, I'm thinking if I have anything else. No, I don't think I have anything else by them, but uh, I'm kind of tempted to get the Pochette Matisse cause it's beautiful. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, you know, um, what you do with your money and what you buy is all, you know, each to their own. I have a little bit of a mix. I have some um, products from their site. I have some products that were pre-loved. So it's all each to their own, but um, I would definitely check out the site. I love the speedies that I have. Uh, again, no quality issues, but I went out there um, on a ledge, you know, trying a different style. I'm a satchel type of girl, but for a tote, it, this isn't like overwhelming. It's really comfortable on the shoulders and it's really well made. Like I thought once I stuffed this bag, I really won't be able to use the pockets because you know, it's gonna like, you know, push inside of the bag, but that's not the problem at all. Like I can carry everything in this bag and I carry a lot of crap. So do check out the bag. Let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, share whatever you guys like from that side as well. And if you guys want any other reviews, do let me know in the link below. I am honestly, in the link below no in the comments below getting ahead of myself um if you guys want to see uh how i set up my planner um this is my planner and this is just a notepad um let me know i can do a video on that and yeah so let me know what you guys uh think uh do comment please do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and if you guys like this uh video uh do check out my other brands on a budget video and I will also link Jerusha's um, video down below where she did a review on the exact same bag. And I will get you guys uh, next week. Take care. Bye.